Uh, hello, this is Oliver Blair speaking, and I'm going to give you a, a advanced tutorial in um, indigo lighting and how to get um, specifically how to get like IES uh, lighting profiles rendering out with um, indigo from SketchUp using the Skindigo plugin. So um, first of all, what I've done is I've just made a little room, and I'll just I'll show you how to um, what it looks like when with the shadows on. So you can see sort of what it looks like, and then I'll render it out uh, quickly, just so we can see what it looks like with no lighting, no other additional lights. So you can see there's like the uh, light from the window coming in, uh, and some bouncing off the uh, off the walls into the room. And so I've got it on the camera mode, so it doesn't overexpose it. <coughs> so you can see how it's like the blue sky still outside. I put it on the auto exposure uh, tone mapping mode, the Reinhard one, then it overexposes the whole room and you can sort of see everything. So we don't really want to do that, we want to keep it on the uh, camera mode. And so um, I'll just quickly, uh, I'll just draw a, a rectangle just on the wall there. So what I've done is I've, I've made the whole room a group and I've just, I've just locked it by right clicking on it and clicking lock so that I can't delete it or move it or whatever <coughs> um, so is that a good place to put it or well actually maybe I'll, I'll put it in the on the roof, on the ceiling just draw a square weird square and I'll give it a new material, I'll, I'll make a new material from the default one, I'll call it uh, lights one, light one, and I'll paint the uh, rectangle that. I might just bring the rectangle down a wee bit, so it's a wee bit away from the uh, ceiling, and then with that material selected in the SketchUp Material Editor, I'll just close that and I'll just close the shadow one. I can go to the Skin to Go toolbar and click on the drum, which is the uh, Material Editor, and it should be down here in uh, Emitter Attributes. And I'll just put this on one, because uh, zero is the sun, so I'll put it on one, and I'll just leave it that color. And you'll notice there's this IES path that we can point to, but I'll just do, I'll just leave it like that for now. And I'll go back to where we were before. And um, render that out now. See what that looks like. So you can see the sun's still coming in and the light is lit up, but it's not powerful enough. So if I ramp it up, maybe it will do something. You can see it's sort of starting to make some splash there. But that might take a while to um, render out. So what I'll do is I'll just add a couple zeros to this emission scale. Press enter and then uh, render it again. Hopefully that's a bit more powerful. Let's just make it a bit bigger too. Do something like that. And then uh, add another couple zeros to it. it. It will light up the room, it will just take ages to render. I can't be bothered waiting. There we go. That's a light. Whoa, real powerful now. So you can see it's it's just blasting light out everywhere from that plane and you can see there's a shadow above it because it's not blasting it out behind it as well so what we can do we can actually add an IES path to that material and um, it will it will change the way that light comes out of it I'm not sure how it works exactly but whatever so one really cool thing is you can um, 
download some IES paths. Uh, so I just googled e e e r c o lighting, ERCO lighting, and then uh, Google comes up with a sub menu, and I just click on download. <coughs> and then right down the bottom of this page here, they actually have for all the lights, they actually have all the 3ds models of the actual lamps and all the um, the IES data for the for what the light will look like so that's this kind of stuff here so I've already got it on my computer I've already un unpacked it, downloaded it and exported that and it's got all this stuff in it so there are these ones, these IES files, 1 to 30 <coughs> and it's got a handy index for it as well so you can see all the different sort of lighting effects Nine's pretty crazy. Maybe we'll try that one first. But it's also got another one inside it of IES ENGB. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's heaps of other ones as well. So there's like, what is it, 4,000? So I guess it's the whole product catalogue. And also there is the 3DS files, which are put them up here and can I quickly open it with mesh lab let's open one of them so this is I guess a like a fluorescent tube lamp 3d model and then I'll try another crazy one but anyway they have all the models as well of all their lights which is insane so yeah so you can put them into your uh, models as well but what I'll do is I'll just change the IES path so in the Skindigo material editor and we've got it on the light one which is this this guy here we can just point to one of those IES files uh, where were they? Uh, here and then Uh, what was it? Nine. I'll try that one. There we go, and we'll see what that looks like. Oh, mm. maybe that didn't really work. Or maybe we have to check this box. Try that. It's sort of. It looks like it's doing something. I think it's just real powerful. If I turn it down a bit, it might work. There we go. You can sort of see it changing a bit on the walls. There's this sort of a uh, different patterning. Maybe I'll make this a bit smaller. Still real powerful. So you can also see that it takes a lot longer for the sun to render as well because it's, it's, it's got two different light sources so it's going to take a lot longer. I think it's just the layers multiplies the render time and not the number of faces that are emitting. So you can have like multiple of these lights all around the room. But you can see that that's got this sort of stroke pattern. I might just stop that and leave it up and they'll load up a different one. Um, there's a good one. Maybe one that's really strong downlight, like 18. <coughs> like a spotlight. Well, four's quite a spotlight, isn't it? We'll try the four. Uh, so I'll just point it to a different one. Render that out. change the level down a bit as well. So you can see you can get some really cool effects without having to actually model 
the lamp at all. So that was the 9 IES file, and that was the 4 IES file. So yeah, pretty cool. And it's not actually emitting from the source as much either. Pretty nifty. So yeah, so just um, have a play with that. It's under uh, emitter attributes and then IES path. And you can download those IES files from erco.com. Cool. Awesome. Cheers.